In this next set of exercises, we will determine whether the problem involves permutations or combinations and solve the problem. A medical researcher needs six people to test the effectiveness of an experimental drug. If 13 people have volunteered for the test, in how many ways can six people be selected? Now the order on how these six people be selected does not matter. Therefore, this problem involves combinations. So using the combination formula, n taken r, which is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial, we can get the number of ways to select six people from 13 people. So that is 13 taken six. And that is equal to 13 factorial divided by 13 minus six factorial times six factorial. Simplifying this, we get 13 minus six which is equal to 7. So we have 13 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 6 factorial. To solve this, let's simplify the numerator. We will write the numerator as 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. And then the denominator copy 7 factorial, write 6 factorial as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then we can cancel 7 factorial. Then just multiply the numerator here divided by the product of the denominator here and you will get 1,716. So there's 1,716 ways to do this. Next. 50 people purchase raffle tickets. Three winning tickets are selected at random. If each prize is $500, in how many different ways can the prizes be awarded? Notice here that the prize is $500 for all three winning tickets. So therefore, there's no first prize, second prize, third prize. That means that the order does not matter. Since the order does not matter, therefore, this problem involves combinations. To get the number of different ways the prizes can be awarded, we will use the combination formula. We have 50 people purchase the raffle tickets, so we have 50 taken 3, because there are only 3 winning tickets, so taken 3. That is equal to 50 factorial divided by 50 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. This is then equal to 50 factorial divided by 47 factorial times 3 factorial. We will write 50 factorial as 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 factorial divided by 47 copy 47 factorial and then 3 factorial may be rewritten as 3 times 2 times 1 then we cancel 47 factorial then we will multiply 50 by 49 by 48 and then divide it by the product of 3 and 2 and 1 so that gives us 19,000 600 ways. Now on the next problem here, we have the same thing. We have 50 people purchase raffle tickets. Three winning tickets are selected at random. Now if the first prize is $1,000, the second prize is $500, and the third prize is $100, in how many different ways can the prizes be awarded? Notice that the winning tickets here of designations, it could either be the first prize, 
the second price or the third price. So therefore, in this case, the order does matter. Since the order is important, this is a problem on permutations. To solve this, we will use the permutation formula, which is n p permutation taken r, and that is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Since we have 50 people who purchase raffle tickets, so we have 50, and then you take 3, you only have 3 winning tickets, so the permutation 50 taken 3. This is equal to 50 factorial divided by 50 minus 3 factorial. 50 factorial divided by 50 minus 3 is 47, so 47 factorial. We can solve this by rewriting 50 factorial as 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 factorial. And then copy 47 factorial in the denominator. We will cancel 47 factorial. Then we will just multiply 50 times 49 times 48. And that is equal to 177 600 ways to do it. In a race in which six automobiles are entered and there are no ties, in how many ways can the first four finishers come in? First, let's identify whether this problem is a problem on combination or permutation. Note that in the problem here, we want to find the number of ways that the first four finishers can come in. That means that there could be a first placer, second placer, third placer, and fourth placer. And also, there are no ties. That means no repetition is allowed. So this, therefore, is a problem on permutation. Permutation because order here matters. So to solve this, we will use the permutation formula. We have six automobiles, and we want to know the number of ways that the four finishers can come in. So that is permutation, six taken four. And this is calculated as six factorial divided by six minus four factorial. That is equal to six factorial divided by six minus four is two, so two factorial. We will write 6 factorial as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Then just cancel 2 factorial here and multiply 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. That is equal to 360. So therefore there are 360 ways. Next problem. A book club offers a choice of 8 books from a list of 40. In how many ways can a member make a selection? In the problem here, there's no mention that we are going to arrange these 8 books. So we're just going to choose 8 books from a list of 40. So since order here does not matter, therefore this is a problem on combination. So we will use the combination formula to solve or to count the number of ways a member can make a selection. Since we have 40 books to choose from, so this is combination 40, choose 8. This is equal to 40 factorial divided by 40 minus 8 factorial times 8 factorial. When you simplify this, you have 40 factorial divided by 40 minus 8 is 32 factorial, and then times 8 factorial. To simplify this further, we can write 40 factorial as 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 times 36 times 35 times 34 times 33 times 32 factorial divided by 32 factorial and then write 8 factorial as 8 
times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then you cancel 32 factorial, both the numerator and denominator, and then multiply the numbers here, divided by the numbers here using your calculator. And you will get 1,716 ways. Now let's consider the next problem. How many different four-letter passwords can be formed from the letters A, B, C, D, E, F and G if no repetition of letters is allowed. To help us determine whether the problem involves permutation or combination, it is important to recognize whether the problem implies ordering or not. In here, since we are forming passwords, the ordering in which the letters appear is important. So therefore, this is a problem on permutation. To count the number of different four-letter passwords that can be formed from the letters A through G, we will use the permutation formula. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 letters to choose from. So we have 7 permutation taken 4 because we're going to form four letter passwords. So this is equal to seven factorial divided by seven minus four factorial. This is equal to seven factorial divided by seven minus four is equal to three. By rewriting seven factorial as seven times six times five times four times three factorial, and then just copy the denominator 3 factorial, then cancel 3 factorial on both numerator and denominator. Multiply 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, and that is equal to 840. So that means 840 passwords can be formed. Another example. Using 15 flavors of ice cream, how many cones with three different flavors can you create if it is important to you which flavor goes on top, middle, and bottom? Here we could see that order here matters. Therefore, this is a problem on permutation. Hence, we will use the permutation formula to solve the problem. We have 15 flavors of ice cream to choose from. So we have 15 permutation taken 3 because we want 3 different flavors. This is equal to 15 factorial divided by 15 minus 3 factorial. That is equal to 15 factorial and the denominator 15 minus 3 is equal to 12. So 12 factorial. Simplifying this, we can rewrite the numerator as 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial and the denominator as 12 factorial. Then cancel 12 factorial on both numerator and denominator and then multiply 15 times 14 times 13. You get 2730 counts. Now consider the next problem. There are six employees in the stock room at an appliance retail store. The manager will choose three of them to deliver a refrigerator. How many three-person groups are possible? Notice that the order does not matter. The manager can just pick any three people from the group of six employees. So therefore, this is a problem on combination. So we have six employees to choose from. So we have six choose or combination. And then we are going to choose three persons. Six choose three. Using combination formula, this is equal to six factorial divided by six minus three factorial times three factorial. This is equal to 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial. So you have 3 factorial times 3 factorial. 
we can rewrite 6 factorial as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. And copy 3 factorial in the denominator. Now the other 3 factorial, you could write it as 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel. Then multiply 6 times 5 times 4 and divide it by the product of 3 times 2 times 1. This is equal to 20. So therefore there are 20 groups of 3 person that are possible to deliver a refrigerator.